Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. Today I want to talk about some really amazing tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro. I have the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro in my hands, but all the tips that I'm going to show you, these are going to be applicable on your Galaxy Watch 5 as well and on some of the previous models too. So uh, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro introduces a lot of new features and uh, this video is going to be really lengthy because I'm going to take you through all of its features one by one. And before we begin, please make sure that you have hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video at some point, do hit the like button as well. All right. So the very first thing that you will notice on your new Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is that to switch to other windows on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, all you have to do is swipe your finger on the screen along this bezel like this. And you will be able to navigate through all the tiles on the Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro. The next feature that I would like to talk about uh, is how you can change the watch face on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. This is the first thing that you probably would like to do on your Galaxy Watch 5. And to do this, what you can do is you can either long press the current watch face on your watch and then go through all the watch faces and choose the one that you like. You can also click on this add watch face to access the additional watch faces that you have in the watch right here. Okay, so let me now take you through uh, the toggles on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. You can swipe down from the top like this and here you have all these toggles. The first toggle is the bedtime mode, then you have the power off, the settings icon, the do not disturb icon, the always on display for the watch, mute, the torch, brightness controls, battery saver, the volume controls, Wi-Fi, the water lock mode, flight mode, Bluetooth mode, the find my phone option, location and a theater mode. So what these options do? Let me start it off by giving you an idea about find my phone. If you are unable to locate your phone nearby, what you can do is you can just go to these toggles and click on find my phone and it will start ringing your phone. You can see that my phone is ringing right here. Once you find the phone, you can just stop it. So uh, the next toggle that I would like to explain about is the theater mode. The theater mode will basically put all the notifications on mute for a while. You can see that uh, what it will do is it will turn off the always on display. It will turn off the raise wrist to wake as well. System sounds, alarm sounds and timer sounds will be turned off as well. You can uh, select for how many hours you want the theater mode to remain on. Okay, so uh, the next mode uh, is the water mode that I would like to explain. The water lock mode will basically protect uh, the watch from water uh, in a way that the touch controls on your watch will stop working for a while. The watch screen will not respond to water or the splashes of water. So once you are in the water mode, you can see that the touch becomes unresponsive, it's locked. To get out of the water lock mode, you can hold the power button or the home key for two seconds. And you can see that it's now turning off the water lock mode. And the water lock mode will be turned off after the watch has ejected the water from the watch. Remember that whenever you are going for swimming and you are wearing your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, have the water lock mode turned on. It's going to add to the protection of your watch. All right, so the battery saver mode, well, it will do what it's supposed to. It will save a little bit of battery by cutting off some of the operations on your watch and the background processes. Use it if you feel like saving a little bit of battery on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And we have the always on display option here. The always on display option will keep the display on all the time. Remember that the always on display is going to consume a lot of battery on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now, there are two ways to navigate to the settings. You can either navigate to the settings uh, via this settings icon in the toggles of the watch or you can just swipe up and here you have all the applications of the watch and you can go to the settings using the applications as well. I'll get to the settings and explain everything in a bit. Before that, let's take a look at some other really nice features of the Galaxy Watch 5. Okay, so if you swipe towards left, you have the tiles here. Now, if you want to shuffle these tiles or remove one of these tiles, you can long press this menu here like this. And you can see that you have the options for the tiles now. Now you can either remove these tiles, uh, reorder the tiles or just add a new tile from uh, the available tiles given here. You can see that we have a tile for the media controller, the reminder, food, steps, together, women's health, weather, world clock. All of these tiles that are available, you can add these 
to the main uh, screen of your watch if you like. The next thing I want to show you guys is the Bixby on Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So uh, when you will long press this home key on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it will bring up the Bixby. And now you can issue any commands that you like. Once you have the Bixby set up on your Galaxy Watch 5, you can simply tell the Galaxy Watch 5 to start a workout or do whatever you like. The best thing about Bixby is that because it has native integration in the one UI on all the Samsung Galaxy devices, you can do things with it that you won't be able to do with any other assistant like the Google Assistant. So for example, I want to go for a workout and I just want to tell my watch to start tracking uh, my workout progress. What I can do is I can long press to bring up Bixby. I'm going for a hike. So you can see that it has already started the workout mode and now I can just turn off the workout when I want to. Now you can also install the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. To do that, you can go to the Play Store and inside the Play Store, you can search for the Google Assistant. Unfortunately, the Google Assistant is not showing up in my Play Store. Uh, I think it's some country restriction or I'm not sure why it's not showing up here. But if you want to use the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 5, you can just go to the Play Store and search for the Google Assistant and install it. So once you have the Google Assistant installed on your phone and now you want to use the Google Assistant and Samsung Bixby both at the same time, what you can do is you can go to the settings on your watch and go to the advanced features. Now inside the advanced features, go to the customized keys and here inside the customized keys, you can set the double press to launch the Google Assistant or any other application that you like and you can leave the press and hold to Pixby. This way you will have two assistants working on your Galaxy Watch 5 at the same time and you can benefit from both at the same time. Now, uh, why you would want two assistants on your watch? That is because, like I told you, with Bixby, you can do things that you won't be able to do with the Google Assistant. The Google Assistant just has this advantage that it has a much better voice recognition and it's much faster than the Samsung Bixby. So you can benefit from both these assistants if you like. Another really nice feature on the Galaxy Watch 5 is the orientation. You can change the orientation according to your left or right wrist and you can also change the button orientation. For example, right now this is the home key. But if I wear my watch like this, I would want this key to be the home key instead. So you can change these settings inside the general settings on the Galaxy Watch 5. To do this, you can go to the settings on the watch, go down to general settings here. And in general settings, you have orientation. So first, you can choose the left or right wrist. If you are going to wear the watch on your right wrist, just select right. And if you want to flip uh, the functionality of these keys, like I just showed you, you can choose left or right. You can see that selecting left uh, flips it like this and right brings it to its normal standard position. So depending on how you want to wear your watch, you can change these settings. And this, in my opinion, is the most useful feature on the Galaxy Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro. Okay, so let me also now show you how you can customize the button functionality on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Go to the settings and inside the settings, go to advanced features. And inside the advanced features, click on customize keys. I already showed you how you can change the functionality for double press and press and hold. There is another third option which shows short press. There are uh, two ways to go back on your screen. You can either short press this key to go back or you can just swipe like this to go back as well. So if you want to use only one way to go back, you can choose uh, the swipe option instead and use this short press key to show the recent applications instead. You can now see that when I press uh, this key now, it shows me the recent applications and I can close these recent applications one by one if I want. Let me now show you how you can install applications on your Galaxy Watch 5. Open the applications uh, menu on your Galaxy Watch 5 and go to the Play Store. Now inside the Play Store, you will get different suggestions. First of all, you can search for any applications that you want to install. Watch faces, tools, productivity or any other applications that you would like to see on your Galaxy Watch 5. Or else what you can do is you can click on apps on your phone. And now these are the applications that are installed on your phone, but they have a watch version as well. 
basically we have all these applications like youtube music spotify and the smart things here which i have already installed which is why they are not showing up here but you can install such applications by clicking on apps on your phone then we have featured apps and the recommended for you section also shows you some useful applications like the gboard you can replace the keyboard on your watch with the gboard and all these applications that you can see right here the watch faces essential watch apps productivity apps and all that stuff like i told you that i have already installed the youtube music and spotify along with the smart things so let me show you how those work here i have the spotify and inside the spotify uh, you can see that it first wants me to pair with the phone i will just do that so this is a spotify player running on my galaxy watch 5 you can see it right here and if i download any song uh, on my spotify application i can carry my watch as a standalone gadget i don't need the phone and i will be able to listen to that music via my wireless earbuds because because the galaxy watch 5 can connect to any wireless earbuds independently and the similar functionality can be achieved with the youtube music application as well now we have the smart things here as well so if you have any smart devices connected to your samsung galaxy smartphone you can control all those applications using the watch as well for this you first have to set up the galaxy watch 5 with your samsung galaxy smartphone and once you are done you will get all the controls on your galaxy watch 5 too you can see that after installing the smart things on my galaxy watch 5 i have the smart thing style appearing in the available tiles on my galaxy watch 5 which will allow me to control my devices using uh, the shortcut tiles on my galaxy watch 5 and this in my opinion is a really cool feature we have the multi control here the device control for smart things and many other options are appearing here as well similarly the media controller can be used to control the music that is being played on your phone like i explained earlier so the applications that you will install if those applications support these tiles the tiles will appear here you can see that a youtube music tile has also started appearing here after i installed the youtube music application on my watch i cannot find a tile for spotify i'll look into that later but this is how the applications are going to add their options to the tiles and this is how you are going to make the best use using these shortcuts on your galaxy watch 5 let's take a look at all the health oriented features of the galaxy watch 5 so for this we can go to the samsung health application and inside the samsung health first of all we can see the daily activity the steps exercise food sleep the heart rate stress body composition water blood oxygen and some other stuff you can change the settings for all these samsung health modes one by one for example if i go to the daily activity here i can set the custom targets for myself if i go to the steps here i can set the custom targets once again we can view the history for the exercise that we did while the watch was tracking us we can also track our calories and set the calorie target we can track the sleep if we uh, sleep while wearing this watch and the funny thing is we can also track and record the snoring you can listen to the snores later on on your phone to turn on the snoring you have to use the galaxy wearable application i'll show this in a while next up we have the heart rate and here in the heart rate settings we can set how often do we want to measure the heart rate do we want to measure it continuously every 10 minutes manual we can set the alerts for high and low heart rates and then we have the stress just like the heart rate we can set when we want to measure the stress we have the body composition we can measure the body composition and there is a nice tutorial on how to measure it we can calculate how many glasses of water we are consuming in a day we can also uh, measure the spo2 the blood oxygen saturation let me now quickly show you some samsung keyboard settings too for this you can go to the settings on your watch and inside the settings go to general in general go to input and in input click on samsung keyboard now here we have the predictive text keep it on if you like and then we have a nice feature called double tap spacebar to add full stop when you are typing the full stop won't appear on the main keyboard because it's a tiny screen and there is not a room for everything what you can do is you can turn this double tap spacebar to add full stop on and every time you will double tap the spacebar 
you will be able to add a period to your sentence. In here, we have the quick responses as well. These are the suggestions that you will get in order to reply to a text straight away from your watch without typing anything. So at first you can turn on the message suggestions and then we have the custom responses and it says here continue on the phone. So here on the phone, we have all these options as you can see. So here on the phone, we have all these responses. We have 16 default responses and we can also add new custom responses using this menu in the phone. I would now like to give you a quick walkthrough of all the settings that you can change using your Galaxy Watch 5, I mean without using the phone. So here in the settings, first of all, we have the connections and inside the connections, we have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC. Inside the Bluetooth options, you can connect to any other device, for example, your Galaxy Buds or any other earbuds. Like I told you, if you have the music downloaded in Spotify or YouTube music, that music will work on your watch independently without your smartphone. So what you can do is leave your smartphone home, take your watch and the buds and your buds will be able to listen to the music from the Galaxy watch. Next up, we have the notification settings. I'll explain the notification settings in a bit. We have the display settings as well. You can change the brightness from here, turn on or off the auto brightness. You can raise the wrist to wake or touch the screen to wake the watch. And you can also show the media controls on the home screen if you like. And right here we have the screen timeout for the watch as well. You can change it to 30 seconds, one minute. And in the end, we have the show last application option within 20 seconds or else the application will be closed. We have the font options, touch sensitivity, show charging information. Next up in the settings, we have the Samsung Health. Samsung Health will uh, once again let you change uh, the heart rate uh, measure settings and the stress if you want to uh, measure it continuously or manually, the blood oxygen during sleep and the snow detection on your Galaxy Watch 5. Next up are the advanced features on the watch. I have already explained the water lock, bedtime mode, theater mode. You can customize the keys, answer the calls, dismiss alerts and calls, and quick launch is there. Next up are the battery settings for the watch. Here you can view which applications are consuming the highest amount of battery and what measures you can take to uh, get a better battery output from your Galaxy Watch. We have the application settings here as well. You can choose the default applications and uh, remove the applications if you like. And then in the general settings, we have the touch bezel. If you don't want this bezel to work, you can turn it off. We have the text to speech. If you want to turn some text into speech, you can do that. We have the keyboard settings, orientation settings, connect to a new phone and uh, the reset settings for the watch. In the accessibility settings, we have the talkback, visibility enhancements and some advanced settings where we can change the accessibility shortcuts. And, and we have the software update option. If your watch is acting up or you just want to check for a new software update, you can do so by coming into these software update options inside the settings of the Galaxy Watch. Now, let me switch to the phone and let me show you some more options that you can change using your phone only. Okay, the settings that you can change on the watch, you can change pretty much all of those settings on the phone as well. And in addition, you can change some more settings that you won't be able to change on the watch. To do that, all you have to do is open the Galaxy Wearable application on your phone. And in the Galaxy Wearable application, you can see that you have different options. First of all, the watch faces. I have already explained how the watch faces work. These are all the watch faces. You can customize your existing watch face or you can install a new watch face from the Google Play Store as well. We have the app screen. These are the applications that appear when you swipe up to view the applications on your Galaxy Watch. Now you can change the location of these icons. If you just want to move one of these icons here and there, you can just drag and drop the icon to a new location and you will see these changes on your watch after you press the save button. Next up are the tiles. Like I showed you on the watch, you can long press on the watch to change these tiles. And these are all the new tiles that you can add to this menu on your Galaxy watch. Next up are the quick panel settings. So the quick panel, this is the current active quick panel on my watch. And if I want to add new icons to the quick panel, I can just drag and drop these available buttons to the quick panel or I can just remove some of these icons if I want. Next up are the watch settings. So first of all, we have the notifications. So these are the notification settings for the watch and you can select what applications you want uh, to send notifications to your watch and turn off the notifications for some of these applications instead. 
This is the entire control for notifications and you don't want the notifications to clutter your watch. So make sure that you try to keep the important notifications turned on on your watch only. Next up are the sounds and vibration options for the watch. We have the vibration for the calls and the ringtone, uh, how you want the watch to alert you when a notification arrives or when there is a call. These are the watch display settings on the phone and these are pretty much the same settings that we had on the watch. Next up are the Samsung health uh, settings and we can see that the snow detection that I talked about earlier is here. Now the snow detection is turned on and the watch will detect the snores and the phone will be able to record when I snore in the night and I'll be able to listen to my snores later on when the phone has recorded the snores. We have the heart rate, stress and all these settings right here. Next up are the advanced features and uh, here in the advanced features once again you can change the button functionality. You can turn on the gestures to answer the call. This is the gesture that you will have to uh, make in order to uh, answer the call. You can use a gesture to dismiss the alerts and calls as well. And you can also use a gesture to quickly launch any application or perform an action on your Galaxy Watch 5. We have the remote connection option here. You can sync data between your phone and watch over the Wi-Fi or Watts mobile network using the Google Cloud Sync. And we have an option to make and receive calls on the watch without a Bluetooth connection to your phone. So if you want this remote connection without the Bluetooth connectivity, you can turn it on from here. Next up are the apps. Once again, these are all the applications that are installed on the Galaxy Watch. You can manage these applications from here as well. The accessibility controls are here. And in the end, we have the watch software update too. So that is all with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro tips and tricks. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button to help my channel grow. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.